golf. I'm ready to golf. I, we're all ready to golf. I, at first, I saw that at 5 o'clock. I thought he was actually slipping accidentally, but it looks like it was mm -hmm. on yeah. purpose. He was playing it up a little bit. Yeah, well, I'll tell you what. There's some ice out there now, even, because of the snow that we've had. So be careful. Conditions are going to be getting uh, maybe a little bit icier in some areas because the sun is setting out there. We'll talk about that in a second. Looking outside right now, you can see the snow showers are starting to diminish out there. We could have some light snow showers and some freezing drizzle even into the evening hours. Still a little bit of action out in Carroll and also Guthrie County right now. Also down here around Ottumwa, a few little snow Snowflakes are flying in the air. Well, looking outside, this is in West Des Moines. You can see the parking lot out here and basically snow free. It's not moisture free, though, because any moisture out there could refreeze tonight. So keep that in mind as we go through the night. And even on the roadways, there's a chance of some freezing drizzle too later tonight. So we're not completely out of the woods, but the snow is pretty much done as far as accumulating. Let's put it that way. Oh, by the way, we're up to 48 inches now in Des Moines uh, for our seasonal snow total. 23 is the temperature in Des Moines. We got 20. Two in Ames. Temperatures a little colder to the north, a little milder to the south, but again, below average. We should be around 44 or so. Tomorrow we're shooting for 34, so we'll take that. It'll be above freezing, and we will uh, clear some more of the snow away, slowly melting it. And that's probably the best way is to slowly melt it. Now, Saturday, close to 40 degrees. Maybe we don't make it, but it's going to be in the upper 30s. We're going to have rain out there, too. But look at southeast Iowa, getting close to 50 degrees here, and that is a sign of what's to come because we will have our chance to hit 50, I think, on Wednesday as another big storm cranks up Tuesday, Wednesday. It's going to push some warm air up, also a lot more rain. Well, the winds now are easterly tonight. That's going to keep our temperatures pretty steady out there. So that east-southeast wind continues into Saturday. And here's our big area of low pressure. So during the day Saturday, we'll have a kind of a strong southeast wind. When this low goes through Saturday night, the winds really start to howl out of the west-northwest. So it's going to get windy out there and a little bit colder. Uh, not expecting any blowing snow this time around because it's going to be rain falling as we go through the weekend. It will be a little breezy on Sunday too. Future tracker showing the clouds out there. We'll have occasionally some light snow showers developing here and there overnight, so it's not completely done. Tomorrow morning looks dry right now. Let's hope it is. Temperatures will be in the mid-20s, and then we get to the low 30s in the afternoon. Doesn't look like the clouds are going to break up. If we get lucky and the clouds break up, we could get a little bit milder. Now, here comes that next system on Saturday. Starts very early in the morning, and then it works its way to the north here, and we are going to see a mixed bag of precipitation. Northwest Iowa could see some freezing rain or snow. We will see just rain here pretty much all day, but north of Highway 20, there could be a little bit of uh, freezing going on there, and you can see the snow traveling up to the north as well. There may be a few snow showers in northern Iowa Saturday night, but not looking for any accumulation really here. Skies clearing out on Sunday, and uh, we'll try to warm it up a little bit. Now, the thing on Saturday, because it is rain, we could have some significant rain, up to an inch of rain, maybe causing some uh, flooding, especially in like streets. Uh, 23 degrees for tonight, light snow showers, steady temp. Tomorrow, looking at mostly cloudy skies, quiet and dry, high around 34 degrees. As we take you into the weekend, we try to warm it up a little bit. We do have to spring forward Saturday night into Sunday. We're going to lose that hour. And you can see we're gaining some temperatures going into next week. There's that 51 on Wednesday. Very good chance of, again, another uh, mix turning into rain Tuesday into Wednesday. And it'll be another big system after that. We're kind of stuck in the 30s here, but... Uh, Definitely, that's like I said before, that's probably the first time I've seen the 10 day yes. all above freezing. For a long time. Yeah, I don't know if that's happened this year. It's a good sign that it we're is. headed towards spring. We are. All right.